Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. I want to show you uh, several updates I've done in the cabinet and also I installed uh, OptoPrint Raspberry Pi for my Prusa printer. Um, I want to show you what I've done. I changed uh, the location of some power strips and, and how I made a mount uh, for mounting the power strips. Uh, so that's this video. Uh, I'm gonna do a separate video on the Octoprint installation. Uh, I had uh, uh, some problems with the Wi-Fi that I want to talk about, but I will do a separate video on that. But you can see how I mounted the the, the case for the Raspberry Pi. Um, uh, also, the I got a small switch to distribute networking to my laptop and to my Raspberry Pi. I had uh, a Wi-Fi connection before to my laptop, but when I was copying uh, video recordings from the laptop to my workstation, it took a very long time uh, over the Wi-Fi, so I uh, routed a networking cable through the living room uh, to mount it into a switch that's near my TV. Um, now I have a gigabit network connection to my workstation here, uh, uh, from the workstation in the, in the computer room and to the laptop here. Um, I also connected uh, the Raspberry Pi with a fixed connection, uh, not because the Wi-Fi wasn't working for it, but I wanted to have a quick way of copying files to it from the laptop as well. So. Uh, that's what I have for you today. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to the secondary camera and, and show you what I've done in the cabinet. So here I have the, the Prusa in the cabinet and the, the filament guide is there as before. Um, I'm gonna take out the Prusa but now to remove the Prusa, I have to do uh, three things. Disconnect the power, disconnect a USB cable to the rumble board from the Raspberry Pi. And also I uh, have printed out a camera mount for the Raspberry camera. But I don't have the cable at the moment, but when I have the cable, I will have to remove this and, and place it down here, uh, like so, um, and remove the power over there and remove uh, the USB cable so that's the only thing I have to do when I'm removing the printer from the case I decided to place the Raspberry Pi uh, on the side of the cabinet in this enclosure uh, I wanted to have it there fixed uh, then the network cable the power cable and, and the USB cable is, is also fixed in a location um, instead of having the Raspberry Pi fixed to the printer, uh, then I would have to disconnect more cables. So uh, this is the setup I have now. Uh, I'm gonna just remove the printer and show you more inside. So now inside, I had previously one power strip at the bottom uh, behind the concrete block. And I moved that uh, to the side here and this power block is connected to this one uh, and this is uh, a block that I connect all the lights to and I can use this switch here to turn off just the lights but if I turn this one off I also turn off the printer uh, and, the, and the raspberry uh, but, but not the switch the switch is connected to the external power strip so this is just for for everything inside the cabinet except the switch and then I can <coughs> control if I have the lights on or the printer off uh, but the, the laptop is connected to the switch so the switch is connected to a power strip that's over here on the outside and this one is, is connected to the wall and to this power strip the laptop is connected and the on the the main power strip in the in the cabinet this one over here <coughs> um, 
So I mounted uh, mounted the switch just with a, a double-sided tape, and also the Raspberry is fixed here with a double-sided tape. Uh, I have the the Raspberry camera, and the included cable is just a very short one, and I have ordered a, a longer cable to route the cable throughout the case uh, to this camera here on the other side. Uh, I might also have the camera on on this side but I haven't decided yet but um, when I get the cable I will decide on how to route the cable. So as you can see the, the power strips are mounted with a bracket I made. Um, they're also hot glued into the bracket. Um, the power strips are all fixed with different different brackets. They are not the same the power strips. And um, here's a uh, the third power strip and these are actually the same version as, as the one in the right side of the cabinet. Then I uh, moved the, the power strip for the studio lights and they are now underneath here and here is a switch to turn off the lights. I had this power strip uh, before on the other side the table so I had to reach over the table to get to the switch but now uh, I can't just get my hands underneath here and, and pull on the switch. Uh, also the thing was uh, for this power strip I have one extra uh, empty socket and when I'm working with my my hot glue gun or, or the hot air gun, this one here I have, uh, I can easily connect to this socket Previously, uh, this this uh, power strip was underneath the table, and uh, where this one is, and, and and it was difficult to connect the connector underneath the table. Uh, so now I can easily see the connector and, and connect to it here. Uh, my tripod is falling apart, but <coughs> uh, yeah, this is what I've been doing. I printed out the, the GoPro mount uh, system. This is a design from uh, Nerdville. He recently did a, a Octoprint installation and designed this nice fixture for the Raspberry camera. Uh, I also printed out the, the case he designed. Uh, but the problem was that uh, the way it was fixed to the Prusa, it, it interrupted the the, the X carriage, so that was not working. So I just moved it to the side, and also when I got the ability to have the cable fixed, uh, so now I just have to connect this cable to the printer and the power this one to the printer, and um, that's the only thing I have to connect. So that's more easy to to do than to connect the. The network and the camera and everything to the to the printer each time I, I remove the printers. So yeah, this is what I have. Also, you might have noticed uh, I installed a fan over here, and this fan uh, blows air into the cabinet. And then in the top, uh, can't really see it, uh, but at the back. Here is, is another fan that sucks air out of the cabinet. Uh, I was getting like 40 degrees Celsius uh, temperature inside the cabinet before I installed those fans. And I have a, a switch, uh, a, a turn, turn, turnable adjustment here. It's a, a resistor, adjustable resistor that I can adjust the speed of the, of the, of the fans. So if I'm doing uh, ABS print, I can turn the fans down and, and, and control the, the power of the fan. So this is, uh, this is one thing I did uh, a few, day, uh, few days ago. Uh, two other things I did. Uh, I installed this uh, guide here, uh, not a guide, uh, a cover. Uh, when the filament goes over here to the printhead, uh, this guards the, the 
filament from scraping on the side here. So this I installed here. Uh, also have a uh, temperature sensor that connects to this display here. So I can have a temperature outside the cabinet and inside the cabinet. Uh, and it's good to monitor the temperature in the cabinet. So yeah, uh, this was just a short short video with what I've been doing. Uh, I want to show you my changes because some of you have been monitoring my progress with this uh, Besta cabinets for the Prusa and I'm slowly improving everything and, and hopefully uh, you get some ideas on how to mount your equipment inside the case. Yeah, so uh, uh, this will be it for this video and uh, I'll soon do, do a new video on the Octoprint installation and the problem I had with a wireless network. Uh, but for now, uh, thank you for watching.